For you know, one of the main focus of my lab is understanding the neurobiological mechanisms of uh, autism spectrum disorders. Uh, they affect a lot of uh, uh, kids. Right now, based on you know, uh, CDC's estimation, uh, in one in 37 kids have, you know, is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders. So, and there are two forms of autism spectrum disorder. One is uh, um, caused by single gene mutation, we call the monogenic uh, forms of autism. The, uh, these are generally very severe and they have, um, uh, they have syndromic features, so we call it syndromic ASD. The other is are sporadic, that you don't, they are caused more likely by a polygenic factor, that means many gene, many mutations are contributed to, plus other factors, including environmental factors and other things. But, uh, for study brain disorders, unlike study cancer, study cancer you can always get a tissue because surgeons always want to cut it off. So you hand, can handle you the tissue you study. For brain disorders, we cannot get the brain to study, so we rely on animal models. For to generate animal models, you actually have to have a, a genetic cause so you can model it. So that makes the monogenic cause of ASD and, uh, the target of study, right? So the hope is by studying this rare form of autism spectrum disorder, ASD, you can you know, understand how it happens in the other population, which is sporadic ASD. So Shank3 is one of the um, genes that uh, mutation of Shank3 will lead to very severe ASD. And it's called feeling McDermott syndrome. It's a sym syndromic ASD. Shank3 is a protein very important for the development of synapses. They are critical for the neuron-neuron communication. So, and large-scale genetic studies have shown that one of the key defects in autism patients, whether it's a, you know, monogenic cause or polygenic cause, is the defect of synapse. So that makes it a real good model to understand why a single gene mutation can cause such complex behavior change, in, including intellectual disability, social interaction deficit, and uh, repetitive behavior. So we use both, uh, you know, uh, a variety of different uh, mouse models. And uh, so the, the uh, autism has multiple symptoms. So now our understanding by study both human patients and the animal models that each symptoms will have a different mechanism at a circuit level, at a cellular level. At the molecular level, they are, they are, at the genetic level, they are the same, single gene mutation in, in Shank3 cases, right? So there are many different mechanisms we can discover with, with this gene, help understand if the other patients, which are not caused by Shank3, also have a similar symptoms, are they caused by the same mechanism? and that can help us to develop a therapeutics in the future.